Daily Market Podcast with me Sudeep Shah. Today we would be discussing about what to expect in Nifty and Bank Nifty from here on for the next week along with the key levels for both the indices. We will also be discussing on key sectors and stocks that could make a move from here on. Now, Nifty opened the previous week on a weaker note, marked a low of 19.330 on Wednesday and thereafter witnessed a sharp technical pullback towards the end of the week, uh, forming a bullish island reversal candlestick pattern on charts. And this indicates that the low of 19.330 could now act as a relatively stronger support. And uh, remember, this was one of the important levels and important support in the month of August also. While Nifty had a flat closing for the week, Bank Nifty as well as the mid cap index lost half a percent apiece. Now, it was only the exception of the small cap index that ended uh, 0.6% positive uh, on a weekly note. To macroeconomic data points, uh, there were a couple of positives uh, emerging in the last uh, week. The first being Brent crude oil prices softening to $84-$85 a barrel down $10-$12 from the previous week. And the second being RBI not choosing to increase the repo rates and holding the key interest rates steady. Now last week we have seen after a move to 107 levels, dollar index has slightly cooled off to 106 uh, levels and which is a minor positive but it is very important to see how the dollar index re- in the coming few sessions. Also, one needs to closely track the US 10-year treasury yields which are quoting around 4.8 levels and which is the highest uh, since 2007. So just keep an eye on the US 10-year treasury yields. Going to US equity markets, S&P 500 after being in downtrend for 17 straight sessions has witnessed a rebound from lower levels around 4230-4250. But from here on for the reversal to get confirmed, it needs to sustain above 4350-4360 levels for an up move up to 4430-4450 on the upside. Now talking about Nifty, uh, going forward the crucial levels for the coming week would be 19800-19830 on the upside and only a move above this level could trigger a short covering uh, uh, rally up to 20000-20050 levels. Key support levels uh, could be near to 19450-19470 zone which is the gap created due to the island reversal pattern which was formed on the daily charts followed by the low of the Wednesday scandal which is placed at 19330. So the first resistance for the week would be around 19800-19830. The first support would be around 19450 followed by 19330 on the downside. Significant put writing is visible in 19600 as well as 19500 strike prices while on the call front 19700 and 19900 calls uh, hold a significant share of open interest built up. Overall range for the coming week would be 19450 on the downside and 19850 on the upside. Coming to Bank Nifty, key support for Bank Nifty now lies around 43950-44000 zone where the uh, swing lows for September month is placed. This zone would be extremely crucial from the next few sessions perspective. Any move below 43,900 could lead to an acceleration of the profit booking move up to 43,600, 43,500 on the downside. Key hurdle on the upside now uh, post the gap up opening uh, expected on Monday would be 44,730, 44,800 zone which is closer to the 20 day uh, exponential moving average uh, area and only a sustenance above this level of 44,800 uh, Bank Nifty could witness a short covering move up to 45,200, 45,300. Talking about open interest built up in case of Bank Nifty, uh, highest put writing is visible in 44,300 as well as 44,000 puts while call writing is visible in 44,500 and 44, for 800 uh, strike prices. This implies a trading range of 43,900 on the downside and 44,800, 44,900 on the upside. Now, before we move on to the stocks and sectors that look positive, bits about Reliance and HDFC Bank. Now, this is very important uh, to analyze both these stocks uh, to ascertain whether the index could sustain at higher levels or not. For Reliance, there is a news which has come over the weekend that Abu Dhabi Investment Authority has announced a 0.6% stake buy in Reliance Retail which is positive. So if you just see technically the stock since the past three days is holding around its 200 DMA of 2290-2300 zone and add to that the derivative uh, data input that is the 2300 strike price uh, put option is having the highest open interest. So if we just merge both these technical and derivative parameters and add this positive news then uh, I feel that uh, 2280-2300 zone could potentially act as a very important uh, support and could become a bottom from a short term perspective and hence I feel that uh, uh, one should not potentially be bearish on reliance uh, until this levels of 2280-2300 
is not convincingly broken on the downside. Now coming to HDFC Bank, uh, what we have observed over the last uh, couple of weeks is that 1495-1510 mark is holding out as an important support what the derivative data is indicating if we see the option chain 1500 strike uh, put option is having the highest open interest thereby indicating that this zone could act as an important support and on the other hand 1540 call option is having substantial open interest built up so for a, a reversal uh, to get confirmed the most important level to watch out for would be 1560 and uh, at this level even the 20 day exponential moving average is placed so i feel on the downside 1500, on the upside 1560, both are very crucial levels and in case HDFC bank manages to cross 1560 levels, a bigger short covering move could be witnessed and that could act as the best uh, news for bank nifty. So coming to other stocks and sectors which are looking positive, real estate, IT, consumer durables and capital goods witnessed excellent outperformance in the past week and are looking promising for the coming week also. Within the IT space, big players like TCS and Infosys, a uh, few mid caps like uh, Birla Soft, they have shown some good momentum. While NBFC space, if we see uh, names like LNT Finance, Bajaj Finance, as well as Bajaj FinServe, witnessed an excellent breakout on the upside with above average delivery volume markings. For real estate space, there was good traction visible in DLF as well as uh, Godrej properties which are looking strong on the daily as well as weekly charts. So capital goods major uh, LNT as well as other stocks such as HDFC, AMC, Indian Hotels, IRCTC, MCX and Titan uh, witnessed a strong momentum uh, towards the end of the week and uh, their daily as well as weekly charts are now looking very positive. One more space uh, to look out for with the fall in crude prices would be tyre stocks such as uh, JK Tyres and Apollo Tyres while even airlines uh, stocks such as uh, Indigo should be on the radar. Now if we observe the FII data, uh, FIIs have been net sellers in the cash segment to the tune of 90 crores while DIS have supported the markets being buyers uh, to the tune of 783 crores. Coming to FII's long shot ratio for index futures, this ratio has seen a slight improvement to 28% from the last week's uh, 24% and this is on account of FII's booking few short positions. However, data wise it is still negative. So FII's have squared off their minor short positions in index futures to the tune of uh, 3900 contracts. They have bought stock futures closer to 12,600 contracts. On the options front, FIIs have bought 48,800 call options while they have sold 17,200 uh, put option contracts. So this above data is marginally positive with FIIs partially reducing their short option positions. However, key still would be to track the FII index long short ratio which is still hovering around 28%. So yep, to uh, wrap up and summarize, we expect the index to witness buying support on dips towards 19,450-19,470 levels and resistance could be witnessed around 19,800-850 levels. While for bank nifty, key support levels would be 43,900-44,000 zone as well as resistance could be around 44,800-44,900 levels. That's all from my side. Uh, wishing you all an excellent weekend ahead. Uh, we hope you enjoyed listening to our podcast and are finding it useful for your trading decisions. So do subscribe to the channel for such updates and interesting insights and do share it with your friends and relatives. So until we meet next time again, happy trading and stay safe. Thank you all. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.